So we are in Kyoto and we have done 25,000 steps and a hell of a lot of shrines and temples. So I think we've earned the right to eat absolutely everything from 7-Eleven. So we're we'll gonna be trying a lot of stuff, but I think I have to go straight for melon bread. It's like we kept hearing about people talking about this. Not necessarily in a positive way, but um, that's quite nice actually. It's just meant to look a bit like a melon, tastes like a melon in bread form. Um, I wouldn't have it twice. That might sit at the side for a while. We've got a um, pizza bun. They've got a hot section as well, and we've loved, um, we ate a potato croquette, I think, the other day, which was really nice pizza bun, so they've got a few, they almost look like giant dumplings. They're really soggy. Ah, I like that. That's our first winner. This is the one that I'm kind of cheating, so I know I like it. It was, Raquel, what was it Raquel's behind the camera? Um, beef and potato croquette. Yeah. Mm. Crispy. Really crispy. Definitely go for the croquettes. <laughs> Raquel would take it now. <laughs> Everyone talks about egg sandwiches as well in Japan. Uh, and Raquel's eaten a couple already. I haven't had one yet, so I'm quite excited to try this. I, I mean, egg sandwich is the cheap one you get back home, so, you know, I don't really know what to expect. Huh? Oh, how do I open it? Raquel's taught me how to open it. I was doing it wrong. Strong. I'm not gonna lie. Tastes like an egg sandwich. Meh. <laughs> the girl's taking that one quickly. <laughs> this one I had to grab just because it sounded weird. Crepe cream cheese and whipped cream. I mean, sounds good. Oh. Sorry about that. The uh, tripod died. <laughs> Here goes the crepe. It's um, it tastes like a crepe with cream cheese. Can't twice taste the whipped cream though. It's all right. It's not amazing though. I really should have eaten savoury first. This is going to be weird. So I ate one of these types of things before, and I didn't eat the skin. But Raquel reckons you're going to eat the outside part as well, aren't you? This one's got tuna mayo and soy sauce on it. Here we go. I like that. I can see myself getting a few of these on the next bullet train. I prefer without the outside part, if I'm honest. Where next? Chocolate cream puffs. I know I'm gonna like this already, but these are Raquel's. She's watching me. Like that. Okay. Different to what I thought. They um outside breaks off quite quickly. Couldn't taste the chocolate, like. Mm. The chocolate taste melted in the middle. Oh. And it is 30 degrees, so. This is the um, rice ball onigiri. Is that? Well, maybe that's something different. <laughs> but it's got egg and green onion. I'm not very good at opening things. Mmm. Oh, I like that. That's yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, it hit from me. Wait. Ah, it's a banana latte. Does this have caffeine? Of what? I'm having this right before bed. Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't know how I'm meant to open or Straws. drink. Straws. Oh, I was about to drink you like that. Oh, that's good. Bit of banana milkshake. It just tastes identical to what you get back home, but I mean, it says latte. I might just not know that's the word for milk. We've also got a crunchy Get Wild chocolate bar, I think it is. Uh, I like it when it comes in the silver wrapping. It always feels like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> oh, it's a white outside. I like that. 
That one you can have for a cup. I'll leave that for you. I think that's all I can fit in. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. See ya.